guys, you're in for a treat today, or a trick, one or the other. Get ready for a slightly unepic Halloween nail art design. I don't got no patience today, so let's get right to it. You guys have missed this white polish, haven't you? I'm applying my favorite white polish on my accent nail because I felt like it being different from my other nails. Don't ask questions. But look! Orange hollow. Oh my god, guys, look at this. It's called seductive marmalade. You know what you want to do to it. Mm, yeah, put it on your toast. This warm, rich, orange hollow induced sparkly polish is perfect for Halloween, but also for the rest of fall because it reminds me of pumpkins and fall foliage and other things that you like to throw up in the air. You can find it at the link below in the video description box, and lucky for you, it's up on pre order right now. Mmm, yeah, give me some of that good orange jelly. This is one thin coat, followed by a second, somewhat generous coat. The more coats you put on, the more opaque you will be, and the more hollows you'll see. Look at that multi-hollow dimensionality. Add a quick dry top coat and let it dry, because we're going to put on some striping tape next. It's not really a necessary step, but if you're me, then you sometimes do things that are unnecessary. Check out my hollow striping tape. Except I hate these stupid striping tapes. It takes me like 20 minutes to find the stupid end of this. Oh, fucking f you, motherfucking tape. Oh, finally. There we go. Oh, everything is okay now, guys. Hollow makes everything better anyways. I like to cut up a bunch of pieces and put them on the top of a nail polish bottle so I can easily take them off. Ooh, look. A England Sleeping Palace is on my nails. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite rich purple hollows. Look at that hollow, it's so deep like the ocean. You can find A England holographic polishes at the link below in the video description box. Okay, enough distraction, let's get going. So you don't really need to apply the striping tape down in this kind of grid pattern. I'm just putting it on as a guideline to draw on my design so it's evenly spaced. Take some black acrylic paint because painting with acrylic paint is a hell of a lot easier than painting with black nail polish. Try it and you'll see why. I take one of my new nail art brushes I got from Twinkle Tea. Look at them, so pretty. Dip it in the black and let's test my ability to paint before I start painting my nails. Uh, Yep, not so great. So my goal here is to paint like a damask, 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 I don't know, damask, whatever, design on my nails. So I Google it to get an idea of what kind of pattern it is, and the first thing I notice is that, oh shit, all of these are extremely intricate. How am I going to paint this? I don't know. So there's a lot of swirl thingies, and they kind of have these things that stick out and make them look really, I don't know, elegant. Oh shit. To make this design more Halloween-y, I'm first going to start painting out Halloween characters in the middle of my supposedly damask design. On this nail, I've chosen to paint a little bat, because Batman is is cool and I wish I had a Batmobile. To give him some eyes I just take a toothpick and kind of pick out his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Guys it's not animal cruelty if it's a picture of something on your nails okay don't worry. Now I'm going to attempt painting something spirally and fancy looking like damask and I don't, I don't know, okay. Oh my god, I really can't paint freehand anything at all, can I? I know you guys have heard me say this before and you're probably getting really annoyed like, Christine, shut up, we know you can't paint, but you're still good. Oh yeah, look, I'm so good, I don't know how to not block the camera. While I was painting these, obviously it wasn't my intention to block the camera, but it kind of just happens when you're painting awkward freehand designs at a really awkward angle with the camera and blah blah blah. So I take off my striping tape and think to myself, wow, I really really didn't need to put striping tape to use as a guideline at all, did I? Let's just fix the bat's wing because bats have way longer wings than that. And I don't know how I'm gonna fix the rest of this. Can I just say that I really hope no one is coming to this channel in hopes of finding a talented freehand nail artist, cause that's not me. However, if you are looking for a talented freehand artist whose work will blow your mind away and make you believe that you will never be able to accomplish such things cause you're not that talented, then I highly recommend some of the French nail artists out there, such as Tarte Fraise, Cherry Nail Art, or Tanshi Nohana. Elles sont très 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 talentueuses. Y'all are nail goals, and y'all are impossible to achieve nail goals. Mad props and respect to all the French nail artists out there. 
Okay, back to Canadian nail art reality. And once again, I'm pretending like there's a point to these striping tape grid lines. Maybe if I paint the black over the orange hollow base, you'll see less of the freehand imperfections because it's not as much contrast. I'm gonna paint a cat in the middle of these ones because black cats are a symbol of Halloween. I honestly don't know why people don't like black cats and consider them bad luck and associate them with Halloween and scary things. Like, what are you saying? If men she was black you wouldn't like her you would think she's bad luck like this is just racist guys don't be racist against cats black cats are people too i just decided that this tutorial is very redundant and you don't need to see this part add a glossy top coat to help cover up all those imperfections the thing with using acrylic paint though is that after one coat of top coat it has this weird textured effect because I don't know acrylic paint absorbs top coat weird something to do with science so I always apply a second coat of top coat to make it nice and glossy all right there you go you got some subpar Halloween nails on your hands there's something wrong with the white nail though I just can't put my finger on it oh yes yes I can there's no hollow on it duh <laughs> I take my favorite hollow top coat at the link in the video description box and apply one thin coat over my nail to give it that rainbow shine. So many rainbows, oh my god, it doesn't even matter if you can't tell what patterns are under it. Who cares, it's hollow. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit better about this manicure after all. I'm gonna try and do some better Halloween nail designs for you guys soon, I promise. For now I linked a couple other nail art designs you can use for Halloween in my nail porn outro. Talk to you later, bye!